Hello ladies and gentle frogs, my name is Epic but you can call me Dan and today you can see we have a new melee weapon in Black Ops 4. This is the Rising Tide, it just came out, it's part of a bundle unfortunately so you have to pay for it because it's Black Ops 4 and you can't just earn anything from just, you know, just being normal and I've, I forgot my headset. But yeah, you can't just earn anything in games nowadays, obviously you have to pay for them so I'm paying for it and I'm going to let you guys know what it's like in a little highlights video so hope you enjoy. Beautiful. So for the time being, at the moment, I'm not really noticing that much of a difference between this melee weapon and the other melee weapons. It seems to have like the same melee, the same consistent ability, the same run speed, you know, just all the basic features. The real problem is, it's just the people keep picking it up. Like, again, it's something people feel entitled to have, given that, you know, I've paid the money for it and I've forked out the money for this weapon. But at the moment, Don't like, let them take you, you know, down. it's the first game on. And, but then again, it is Black Ops 4, so I'm not going to like overhype this weapon and go oh my god it's a must buy because it's, it's not it's really not it's like it's up to your personal preference and that should have hit like typical it's so it's better but you know it's just like i've not really had that much fun on it like um i could someone tell me what just happened there i was behind like three people see this things like this just keep happening on a too frequent basis i was just behind someone and then suddenly it just came up with like, U... UE error? UIE error? Like, I've seen that thing before, but like... I don't know if that's to do with a new update or something, but... Oh, now I can slice off of it. Okay, so that was weird. That was really weird. Another thing about the bundle is it's not really that much money to pay for it. And I'm not saying that as if it's something to be pra praised about. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm not saying that as if it's something to be praised about, because you shouldn't really have to pay for these weapons in the first place. I remember the whole triple play system in Black Ops 3, where you could just play 100 games. I mean, fair enough, you had to win them, but you won 100 games, and then you got like a free melee bribe. And that's how I feel the game should be played. They should go right. You've got to play these games all the way through, because if they if they put this, like, this weapon at like a the end of something going, look, if you play the game, and you play a hundred games all the way through without backing out because silly people have put snipers nests and uh, strike teams at such a low rank compared to previous Call of Duties that even a five-year-old who doesn't even know how to play Call of Duty and just plays Fortnite all the time can get a sniper's nest. Then I just, you know, I would be more in a um, more motivated to go and uh, get these things. But at the moment, I just don't feel like it's worth it because it's just like i mean fair enough i've paid for it but then again i'm just doing this video just to show you guys that you you don't have to do this yourselves but i mean it's uh, we all like new stuff in games though to be fair like i as well think like it's nice to treat yourself once in a while and the fact that my my version of treating myself is treat is like a new melee weapon in um a call of duty and it just, it's a bit sad, but, you know, like I said, it's nice to, oh, that guy's just OP, that guy's just a coward. Notice how far back he was at the map there. I mean, fair enough, he had a seeker mine against Enemy him. UAV above. You could, could you run any further back? Something that's coming to my attention as well is in the resting stance, it covers a bit of your screen. And not to be that picky, but that's going to kind of, I feel like that's going to annoy me after a time. See, look at this, like, the guy's already got a strike team and a tack chopper and someone's already left. And Treyarch want to do the whole... Oh, well, people shouldn't leave games thing. Well, if you make the, like, kill streaks so easy to get, people are just going to leave. It's the, the end of a thing. Oh, no, what can you stop them from doing? Playing your bad game. Oh, what a shame. All right, let's see how good they are against the strike team members. Oh, three kills. Three kills of the strike team members down. That's changed since the, um, the original beta, because of at least the original when I started um, playing on the game, because these, these things would just not die. Like that. Pretty much like that. Okay, I take it back. I don't know. <laughs> That's a brilliant indication of how Black Ops 4 is just so rubbish. So one strike team member takes three swings. The other one can take three swings and still punch you in the face as if it's nothing. Like, imagine running up to, like, I don't care how much armor he's got on, right? How many... Okay, oh, right, okay. I'm confused. How many, how many swings do I actually need to take? That's more like it was. Like... I, I'm so confused, because, like... I want to know what what because it doesn't look like they're wearing a lot of armor. How is it that this in this massive pirate sword cannot take at, like anyone out? That's just 
I don't know. That's another, that's another thing to do with the game, really. But right, let's get you out. Oh, come on. That's just cowardly. It's this coward again. Notice how far back he stays because he knows he knows I'm better than him. It is what it is, though. It's part of the game. At the end of the day, I'm just complaining because he's outplayed me there. And I just, I just feel like, especially within the last, like, three years, everyone's just become a super sweat. Like, it's very, very rare I get in a lobby with people who don't know what they're doing. And, and, but then again, actually, sorry, they're always on my team. Like, the majority of people are on my team. But anyway, back to the whole bare bones thing. Notice how, like, I'm going to stay in the game just to, just to prove that I'm, like, a decent Call of Duty player. But look, we've already had a strike team, a sniper's nest, a fresher, a gunship, and a helicopter. And this is where Treyarch is supposed to be like, I'll oh, play the game, we promised it's balanced. This is team deathmatch. This is mercenary team deathmatch. I should not have to put up with this overpowered play. Like, this guy's going 24-2. and two. Admittedly, he's a good player, but just sort your life out, mate. Like, how are knifers supposed to excel? Right, before this video ends, guys, I'm going to be opening 22 reserves and the five... Let me get onto the page. And the five crates I got with this bundle. So let's just, let's just do it. Let's just see what we get, okay? Because either the Locust, the Peacekeeper, or the Ballistic Knives, or whatever will do at this point. Okay, re-roll. We got Megalodon. Okay, a Spitfire camo, so, you know... Hula Black... Well, that's us. Oh, it's for the Augur. Okay, I'm not going to use the Augur that much, so it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. Obviously, these are the reserves, so they're not really that great. A lot of them are duplicates. You just know how this game goes. But hopefully you enjoyed this video because um, it was a bit annoying having the the new melee weapon isn't that... Oh, it's, it's good. It's just the game modes are just terrible. Like, the maps are designed rubbishly and... I, I tried to get the best gameplay I could, guys, so I do apologise if, as well, this video felt like I was just constantly having a rant. I just needed to get some things off my chest to do with this game, because personally, this game is making me not want to play the next Call of Duty, because I feel like I could be doing a lot more things with my time that isn't just getting duplicates after duplicates out of reserves. Like, these are supposed to be days of summer. These are supposed to be new reserves. This is stuff that I've saved up for. Like, I've saved all these reserves so I could do, like, little openings like this, but I'm not getting anything different. Like, it's just all... It's like death effects, and it's stickers, and it's like... I thought that was something cool. I thought that was, like, a new knife, but a Megalodon for the combat knife? I guess I'll take it. I don't see what the mass appeal is. Like, I hate to be, like, down about this, but this game... You can, you can tell these games don't offer... Well, this game especially. I mean... Oh, do you know what? I... See, I always like I always slate the game and then something cool comes along, like a little ray gun thing for the I mean you could just put the ray gun in the game. Like it wouldn't be overpowered if you did it correctly. Like or if you did it as like a specialist streak, put a zombie in as a specialist, have like a ray gun as a as like the annihilator. Like anyway, five crates. We've got five crates, let's see what we get. So the first crate we get Solar, Monarch, and Okay, so we got we got a weapon charm for the Koshka, I use a Koshka, but we got two duplicates again. In these what's supposed to be supply drop bundles. These are things you can pay for. This is this is thing, so damn sun, we got a blackout gesture. And I know as well, like, they have to put rubbish stuff in, otherwise people are not gonna get the people are not gonna bother doing or buying this stuff, because they're always gonna get the really cool stuff but then again you're supposed to make me want to play this game you're supposed to give something that's gonna entice me to play this but this is the last one and that's just depressing that was like what five supply drops which i paid for and 22 reserve crates which i saved up and that was just it was just duplicates and stuff it was like but anyway guys, I really apologise for the um, downer on this video, but this is as well why I want to do more Fortnite content. I'm going to do more Call of Duty and Fortnite content, mainly Fortnite, because I'm actually enjoying myself in Fortnite. Fortnite is a game where I can go on, I can just chill, I don't have to worry about stuff. I'm not constantly, I'm playing with friends and it's like custom game mode, so it's like, it's really cool. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 at the moment, it's just in a bad state. And like I said, I don't feel like I'm going to be playing the next Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which sucks because I know a lot of you have subscribed to me because of my Call of Duty. 
I, I, I can't be asked to waste my time anymore on this really bad designed game where you don't get anything. My preferred style of play is constantly being nerfed and twinged, whereas everyone else's style of play is just get being overpowered. It's just being it's like this is where their style of play is, and it's about anyway. I'm just, actually I'm just I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. Thank you for watching the video. If you've stayed to the end. Thank, thank you so much. Like, it really means a lot. I've constantly, this week, just been watching my analytics go up and up and up and up. And I want to create that level of content so I can do this on a more regular basis. Because I really like creating videos. I've really got back into the mood of it at the moment. But I just need you guys to comment. Let me know down below. I sound like every other YouTuber. It really hates me when they're like, give me your feedback. But it does matter. It really does matter. Even if it's like a comment saying... Right, I think you what you went on too much about how the knifing's bad. I didn't see much gameplay action. Then fair enough. I will. I always take comments with a pinch of salt. That's been it for the video, guys. Stay epic.